Now, the Omicron variant now accounts for 95% of all new COVID infections in the U.S. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Helen Boucher, the interim dean of Tufts Medical School and an infectious disease specialist at Tufts Medical Center. Great to have you here, doctor. Nice to see you, Erica. Well, Dr. Boucher, as you well know, the speed of this spread of Omicron is pretty staggering. Just four weeks ago, Omicron was linked to less than 1% of new cases. Delta caused the other 99%. Now that has flip-flopped. So what's the biggest challenge for folks like you who are on the front lines of this every day? Well, Ben, I think today our biggest challenge is managing the stress in the hospitals and the number of our colleague employees who are out sick. The good news is, is that most people who are vaccinated have very mild illness, but they're still out of work. So we're working hard to make sure that we can care for the patients who need us. Well, Dr. Boucher, every day, as you know, we get data from public health officials about new cases, hospitalizations and deaths. For you, which number is kind of most important right now in terms of where we are? Yeah, you know, really good question. And I think in this phase of the pandemic, we've seen a decoupling from cases and hospitalizations and deaths. And so we're focused more on the number of hospitalizations and deaths as we get our hands around what's happening before us. Following the cases are still important from a surveillance standpoint, but, but every day in managing what we're managing in front of us, it's really about hospitalizations and deaths. And important to remember that vaccinations prevent against serious illness requiring hospitalization. All right, let's get to a couple of emails from viewers. The first one's from Deb. She said that she tested positive. We hope you're okay, Deb. How can I find out which variant? Uh, can you find out, Dr. Boucher? Well, you know, the test that actually tells us which variant uh, is causing this infection is called sequencing, and that takes some time. So we go by the surveillance that we have. And here in Massachusetts, we know that the majority of the cases of COVID are caused by the Omicron variant today. Well, and Dr. Boucher, here's another one this time from Janet. And she wants to know what's the best way to treat COVID at home? Are there any medicines you can take? Yeah, well, so Janet, I hope your illness is mild. And just like another cold or the flu, you can take Tylenol, lots of fluids, rest. And the things to watch out for are having a high fever, having difficulty breathing or, or anything worse that would make you uh, want to call your doctor. All right, Dr. Helen Boucher at Tufts Medical Center. Dr. Boucher, thanks for your time as always. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Dr. Boucher.